Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you can't get past the laundry. No, I'm home. I got to carry the laundry up. You're too tired to clean. Come here, baby. Some cat food for the babies. There you go. Mmm, this one's for the Mickey. Mickey's food. Gracie's food. Mmm. See what's in here. Oh, a magical surprise. Damn. Hit some bumps. Just me making up excuses. It's hard to stay swamped. It's hard to stay, uh, keep a trailer spotless clean when. It's like 8 p.m. and your wife's calling you screaming because you got to be at a family event and you're like, ah, well, I, I, well, no, no, you should have, you should have, like, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Snuck off and did a quote. Customers keep calling. It's taking so for long to get all these jobs done because we're sneaking doing quotes in between. And the customers, we're booked out like three weeks at least all the time. Oh, no, right now we're booked out a month. And I tell the customers, I say, well, we're booked out three weeks. I'm trying to fit them in. I can't fit them in. And then they keep falling off and canceling because they don't want to wait. I don't want to lie and manipulatively tell the customer, oh, yeah, we'll get you in next week. And they keep pushing them back. But I'm not going to do that. That ain't right. It's wrong. It's wrong. I'm never going to do it. Got to get some lunch now. Hey, are you? Oh, we're getting lunch down the Your boy Keith Kelfus loves coleslaw. So I got this little Phoenix Coney Island grill by my house. I'm gonna, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Okay. Gonna rush the wiper tron some lunch real quick because we happen to be down the street from her work. She doesn't work for me no more. She didn't like it. <laughs> I loved it, but she didn't like it. So I'm gonna disconnect the truck and the trailer real quick and run her some food, man. I love her so much and we've been fighting always around June man when we're so busy landscaping I'm working like 80 hours that's when we start fighting then your boy ain't getting no sleep here we are in the next job dog 200 bucks to trim all this up just that the weeping cherry a couple shrubs you shrub Weeping mulberry shrub, 200 bucks. So I've learned if we throw tarps down and everything, then it'll make it go a lot faster and smoother. It just takes, it's annoying because it takes a minute to throw these tarps down. Look how the mess this is. We are swamped and I don't have five minutes to clean up this trailer. What do you don't have five minutes to clean up a trailer? Look, look, I'm walking out of the trailer grabbing one tarp when I should be grabbing all the tarps and I'm creating multiple trips because I'm resisting life bro resisting life resisting life I'm listening to Tony Robbins right now <laughs> Oh, dog, I need the best tool ever. To reach for something and it takes like all your might just to get to do something so stupid. 
You know, I really take a lot of pride in being a positive dude on YouTube and I promised myself that I wouldn't vlog negative stuff. And when I'm negative and I'm upset like I am right now, I start cussing and I don't want to cuss on YouTube. So, I don't know, I'm really on the fence. Let me know in the comments what you think below. Should I start really, I, I, I even talked with my own wife about this, start posting like real life stuff, like the drama. Start posting the negative stuff. You know, instead of making it all fluty, uh, fluffy or fruity all damn day, oh, life is peaches, you know. Like I said, I aspire to be a positive guy. But... What's up? Get some gas. Check out this Echo Red Armor. Uh, Echo sent me this. It's two cycle oil for obviously handheld power tools. And I normally use the steel stuff and because I don't like the really cheap stuff. Uh, I don't like that. But I'm excited about this because, is this synthetic, I think? I don't know, they give us a whole demonstration about it when we were there. But the coolest thing about it is it has these detergents in it that actually clean out. So it's the highest possible quality two cycle oil. Now it's like this whole new blend. And it has these detergents in it that actually clean out the fuel system inside of your uh, your power tools as you use it. So this is the first time I'm using it right now. I got this uh, five gallon no spill bucket right here, which this mug was over 20 bucks at Weingarts, but that's cool because it's got a nice flat bottom and it won't spill. It's got the no spill, so that was worth it because I'm sick of our two cycle running out in that little can. I want a five gallon two cycle, and so we don't have lawnmowers, so I don't want any straight gas on the truck, so there's no chance that anybody could possibly put straight gas and blow something up. I, I put premium in my two cycle stuff. So we're gonna fill this up with premium and then later on in another video I'll talk about, you know, uh, the results. I'm sure it's gonna be great. What's up? It's Keith Kelfis, the landscaping employee trap. And here we're at the nursery, uh, Joe Randazzo's nursery at 25 in Romeo Plank in, what city is this? Macomb, Michigan. I'm trying to get this proven lock off the store. This thing is a beast. And so this is what I'm doing now, I think. You know, a large landscape business would charge three times retail of what a plant costs to install it and warranty it, you know, backfill it with compost, fertilize it. My deal with customers is I do twice what warranty is. I mean twice what retail is. So if a plant's 20 bucks, it's 40 bucks to put in. If it's 100 bucks, it's 100 bucks to put in. So the customer here today has a $600 budget for plants. 600 bucks, we came up to 630. And then um, the contractor discount, which is 10%. And then, so it's 600 to install them all. So we've got bags of compost and fertilizer going in, and we're loading it all into the trailer right now. And then, there you go. So let's go. These are these are boxwoods. Are these winter gem green velvet boxwoods here? We have a blood good Japanese maple. These are knockout row shrubs. Over here we have wygelia. These are wygelia behind. We have uh, golden spirea. Then these are variegated hostas. And it's gonna be crispy, so that's kinda how I price plants in no warranty. So that's what I give the customer the option as, and I don't wanna do warranties anymore anyways. I say, uh, due to landscape planting best practices and techniques, we plant everything properly. I rarely have anything die. And as long as you take care of the plants, I'll give you a discount, twice the retail, and no warranty. So there you go, that's the way I do it. Let me know in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 all that stuff. I love you very much, my friend. And people are looking at me crazy because I'm vlogging in public again. It's just amazing. I should just fall on the ground and just start twitching. Right at the nursery, because it's great. So, 
Um, let me know. You'll be like, no, I charge five times, five times. I make $60,000 a day, Kelfish. Geek to Freak, the legend, the man, right? Like three years ago, uh, a buddy of mine, a guy who works for me, he said, you know what, Keith, I, you should try to get a hold of that Geek to Freak guy. I only had like 3,000 subscribers and he had like 10,000 at that point. And he was like the first guy, aside from like, you know, Lawn Care Millionaire and Lawn Gopher way back in the day. You know, it just wasn't a thing. This whole thing didn't exist like it does now, right? And uh, we were the pioneers of this this whole thing. I, I can say even it was even before Geek to Freak. You can go back before that because they were pioneers of everything. I don't claim that, okay? Just some people I have said stuff like that. But I, um, so I, I finally get a hold of this Geek to Freak guy through the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. And I set up multiple cameras and I try to, you know, get this guy's attention. And I got on the phone with him and instantly we clicked, like we genuinely clicked, and I became friends with this guy, but I asked him a piece of advice once. Uh, he said, I don't know what it is, Keith, but I like, I just believe in you. I think you're gonna go far with this and I wanna help you. You know, so number one, you need a mentor. Excuse me, you need a mentor. And he was my mentor in this. And I used to call him up when I hit 100,000 views in a month and I was having a panic attack thinking I was gonna end up in a courtroom or something because, or thinking people were gonna be knocking on my door or that you know we were at risk or something. You don't know what to think when that happens. And now in relative comparison, relative comparison today, you look at like, I don't know, Jesse and Casey Neistat and all these huge YouTube channels. Like, pfft. If you've got 100,000 subscribers, that's nothing. If you've got, not until you hit like 500,000 subscribers, I think, should you like, I don't know, it just depends on what you're doing, but I'm on the phone with geek to freak and here's the most powerful word of advice I ever had gotten from anybody about YouTube. And here it is right now. I said, bro, you've got like all these subscribers and views and I'm like, how do you, how do you do it all? How do, how do you, how are you doing this? How do you, how are you getting all these views? At that point, I think he maybe hit like 20,000 subscribers. Back then, I was like, whoa, 20,000, right? This is what he said to me. He goes, well, partly because I'm obsessed with it. Like, I can't help it. I'm obsessed with it. And, and then everything else he said from that point on was just like blah, 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 blah to me because that's all I, that I needed to know. He said, because I'm obsessed with it. I was like, boom, it was this massive confirmation for me because, oh, you have to be obsessed with it. Anything in life that you don't want to do or you can't stand doing or you hate doing, it's very hard for you to grow or expand it or you can force yourself, but you can literally make yourself sick, mentally, physically, emotionally sick by forcing yourself to do something because you can't, it's hard to take ownership of something that you don't want to do.